to another video on the channel and as you can see it's not a match day but we're at St James's Park yes I have come here for the stadium tour today uh, I've done one a few years ago but I'll be honest guys it kind of sucks so I thought I'd come back and get a better one done but as always if you are new to the channel make sure you get that nice subscribe smash the like button you enjoy appreciate the support as always so this video which is 200 likes I will literally do the rooftop tour the reason why I've asked for a bigger light goal is because I got a phobia of height so I kind of don't want to do it but listen it reaches the light goal I will do for the channel but yeah, I came here about 20 minutes early, so I'm literally just gonna go around the stadium, kind of tell you stuff about it. But as always, guys, let me know your thoughts on it. Manu tomorrow, can't wait for that one. But yes, as I've said this season, I'll be at every single match. But anyway, guys, enough of me talk, let's actually tell you something about the stadium. There he is up there, so Bobby, gone but never forgotten. I mean, that is a really good statue. Um, or like the Shia one down there actually looks like Bobby Robson, but on a serious note, though, what a legend he is, rest in peace. Alright, uh, this is new guys, just came in during lockdown, it's something I really like, so every single football player that's ever made a first team appearance when he cast on this list, I mean, yeah, it's quite a lot of them, uh, I'll be honest, I think most of them suck, but there are some legends on there, but uh, let's have a quick look at these ones, I mean, we've got, we've got Lazard there, Viduka, I mean, I did like Viduka, to be fair, Hosselu, I mean, yeah, a big list, a bunch of players that I don't like, but there's a lot of players that I like, I suppose, so, same with most clubs, to be honest, but, uh, there it is, every single Newcastle player that make a first team appearance. I mean, no new ones this season, uh, apart from Woodman. But one really unique thing about St James's Park is the fact that I'm just walking under the stands right now. I mean, as you can see, the pedals are keeping the stadium. What I mean, compared to our stadiums, you, you kind of can't do this. I mean, every other stadium, you've got to go through a turn to get inside. But we're literally just underneath the stadium right now. I mean, it is kind of cool. Most of the players will come through with the cars on a match day, yeah. And then Mr. Stewart will come and get the car and drive it back down at the car park. But... Yeah, again, um, it is quite cool to see these sort of things happen. It's a lot different to our stadiums in the Premier League, but oh, it's a good map of it here. So, yeah, in terms of my match tickets, I, I always sit about here, so I'll be underneath the box. I'll show you in a bit, but yeah, the players, like I've said before, will come through this tunnel onto the pitch here, but yeah, uh, it is a really nice stadium. Level 7, this is where the way fans are sit on the match. There's the kegs for match day, guys. I'll be, I'll be honest, not in the best condition, but... I used to sit in the Gallagher anyway, it's actually awful. Like, they'll pull the pints out and then they'll put them underneath the desk until you buy them. So they'll be underneath the desk for like 10 minutes before you buy them. I mean, it's, it's vile, it's actually vile. But uh, yeah, I mean, I don't tend to get pints at the matches because they're like five quid. And you have got a cause or a Kingston press. I mean, I'm not really fine with either of them. So yeah, in case you're wondering, then, that's the cause in there. We are on our way to the stadium tour, guys. Literally got beautiful level two. I mean, yeah, there's even seen the website where the beautiful point was. I mean, like, that's just basic stuff. But yeah, I mean, this club is a bit of a shambles, to be honest. But yeah, we are. Hi. There we are, Newcastle which trophy coming. I mean, there, this is it. <laughs> We've got 11 trophies. Uh, I don't know if they're all in there, but obviously, that's the most recent one, the championship under being it has. But last major honours down in the Affairs Cup, 52 years old. That is, look at the size of that. It's massive. Uh, that is a seriously nice looking trophy. But I don't know where the FA Cups and the League titles are. They might be in a different cabinet, but. Yeah, uh, ninth most successful club in football history, or English football history, sorry. Four league titles, six FA Cups and one Inter Affairs. 11 to our name, I mean, not bad, but considering I'm winning from 50 years, not exactly good either. There we are, the Bobby Robson collection, I mean, this has to be definitely the coolest part I've seen so far, but got some interesting things, like Aaron Shewer gave up his testimonial shirt, the one. I mean, that's a respect right there. Well, it's got some manager of the month awards, and there's a massive one there, let's see. It's like the Barclay Card Managers League. What else we got? We've got some Barcelona ones, and I mean, yeah, we've got these different ones from Porto. And I mean, look at the size of that trophy there. I mean, he's had a seriously good career, Bobby Robson. But yeah, I don't think he has any more of these in the world. I think this is probably his only one in Newcastle. But uh, what a manager he was. He's got a seriously good collection to show for. Here yeah, I've got Newcastle's earliest history stuff. So stuff from the late 1800s, early 1900s. I mean, Seriously rare stuff, uh, I can't even imagine what some of these medals would cost in the market today, but yeah, yeah, we've got the uh, championship medal, one in 1906, just before the First World War, but we've got the different cabinets down here, so in here is during the war, so in between as well, I mean, yeah, look at those pair of boots there, I mean, <laughs> I wonder if you lace more of them, but imagine getting too footed by that, but uh, yeah, I mean, got some really nice antique stuff in here, but again, a uh, bit before my time, so it's not really something I've got an awful lot of knowledge on, but in here is the stuff after the second world war i mean imagine heading that football i'm pretty sure it's a pig's bladder used to be but yeah i'd get a serious concussion from doing that but uh again i mean there's some great cool stuff in here some nice books some old programs they are all the way to level seven you always get a great view when you walk outside the front here <laughs> that is an unreal 
aerial view. Let's like see how the lads are cleaning the roof about time, but uh, in terms of match day as well, I'll literally sit just above those lads there down there. But uh, obviously the away fans will be in between there, depending on the capacity. But yeah, 10th biggest day in the Premier League, I mean, still, despite the state of the club, it's still an unbelievable yeah. ground. Have you had a look at the stadium? It's a bit misshapen. I mean, it's a mental amount of people that have actually given this tour. Don't deserve this fan base, but yeah, I mean, like I said before, it's an unbelievable view. Just down there is obviously where the guy sits to record the uh, footage like BBC or Sky. But uh, yeah, like I said before, good to see someone actually clean that roof. So I mean, still got a lot of work to do, but should be ready for next Friday, I think. But yeah, um, obviously, in terms of the match itself, I mean, I haven't sit in level seven in ages. I used to sit down there uh, in my first few seasons in Newcastle, I used to sit there. I had a season ticket once that season up there. I had won the Batty Gallagher, but now I'm staying down there, hopefully for the foreseeable future, because I really like those seats down there. Oh, inside Shelby's box. I mean, oh, it's quite nice to cut where you got out, but there he is up there. Big up John Joe. It's incredible. Just got a seat, just got a seat, you can, yeah, that'd be great on me. Jeez. This is really nice, this. I like the seats I got. Okay, these leather seats. Oh, I feel it's good. <clears throat> 58 grand is in there. Oof. Yeah, it makes a point, it's quite tall. But he's sitting in John Joe Shelby's box. I mean, the two are guys made some great points before seeing that Shelby will literally just come out of here after the game and you would just go into his Lamborghini and drive off. Oh, I mean, yeah, it's nice. I'll be honest, when his family's watching him play, they'd definitely be drunk because, I mean, oh, I'd be getting frustrated well watching Shelby play if I was his family. But yeah, seriously, you know, his box is really nice. 60 grand a cost, so listen, that's nothing for him. But yeah, I mean, these seats right here, I mean, aye. really nice seats. I would love to sit more than for a game. To the chairman's suite. That's where I've been asked to leave to all the big corporate sponsors said the guards out here, yeah. Uh, unfortunately, you've been on level two, and you've seen my trophy room, or lack of trophy room, yeah. <laughs> you must apologise. 1955. The last trophy we won was in 1969. What's well, the first cup for the younger people of three years old? It'll be the Europa Cup. You know, I think it was going to be our man in it, I think. Guards so out here for sitting there. <coughs> Mate asked me would normally sit there. The lead Tony would sit there. The two TVs, yeah, I'll put in with Sam Allardyce's idea. One you can see them up live, and that one you can watch slow mo or the cheer. Sam Allardyce likes slow mo, so you could see the instant what actually happened. And he did on his throwing. Certainly, the system tells you like to sit the ball, but no, I had to do the ball for quickly. The two specialist seats in the house, the specialist in the work, uh, is Bobby Watson's seat. Bobby Watson used to sit here on a match day and his son or his wife would sit here. The years have been bequeathed to the Watson family uh, when he died. So uh, the Watson family on in attendance to the game, these seats are not being used. Hey. So England, Barcelona, Newcastle, Portland, PSV, Angels. I'm going to take the weird team dressing room first. That used to be the home team dressing room up in 2006. Last time that was used was Alan Shearer's testimonial against Glasgow Celtic. Normally, the referees change me, but because of COVID, 
we've got to have two dressing rooms for the home team and the away team. So the players lounge is now being converted into the home team sec second dressing room. Drum control, drum control can turn up the uh, training ground or the stadium unannounced. And they may take two players from each team or just one from each. When we played West Ham, it was Wilson for us and Antonio for West Ham who got selected to give a urine sample and we've never had a player fail a urine sample here. Uh, the longest player to take a urine sample was Phil Jagielka, it took him three and a half hours. The <laughs> Roberto Martinez was a manager, he'd done his press conference and he just said, Phil, we're not on the door because once you're in, you're in, it's locked till you fill out a sample, uh, you'll have to get a taxi. So my mate Alan put Phil Jagielka in a taxi at Temp last thing with a pizza. And took them back there. I think they live in Southport, don't they, most of the players? Mm -hmm. In that area, Liverpool, Southport area. Yeah, Have we addressed them now? I've seen it before, yeah, so. Yeah. <clears throat> it's actually not as bad as yours, to be fair, there's no obstructions. Sometimes they've got like, stuff in the middle to prevent the manager communicating with the players, but. Ah, it's quite nice from the way dressing room. Obviously, the whole one's always going to be better, but it's not awful, it's legit, alright. The way team, when they come in here, we give them nothing. Not just him. Not even team. <laughs> <laughs> drink him any water, drink him any ice. Not him. Absolutely not. But it's the same for us, right? You know, the dressing room, very small. You know, not going to make it a long time, but, you know, but it's very small. Uh, so, like I said, Peter Crouch, Van Dyke, got a problem. The colour is grey and dingy. The air condition doesn't work. The electricity point there. Is not electricity point. Okay? <laughs> the floor when wet is sleepy. Okay? So if Van Dyke comes in and twists his ankle, it's great news for him. If Salah does it, the same day, it's even better. Okay? And that's the way it is with football. That's the way it is. Okay? You know, it's the same one we grew up here. The showers, Harry Kane's been them showers, Ronaldo's been them showers, Neymar's been them showers when he played for Brazil. Two seconds. Freezing cold or scalded. <laughs> and that's it. That's all you get. You've got to turn them on and you get scalded and they get freezing cold. Just make it uncomfortable. Do you know what I mean? Cheers. Thank you. You're welcome. You're welcome. Oh. Yeah, we are. Lovely. Definitely get one next to Wilson and Sim, actually, I think. <coughs> Oh yeah, I mean obviously a lot better than the away one as you can tell, but again it seems really nice. It used to be a massive vending machine somewhere, I can't. Yeah, there's only four Steve, this is worst nightmare on a weekend at the press conference. It's quite intimidating to be fair. This is where Steve Bruce sits normally for the press conference on a Saturday after the game game. Yeah. If you think Guardiola sat there, yeah, Klopp, Ferguson, Vega, so the great managers have all sat up here 
So you want to take it further back, you just pull the cue here, then we'll get it further back, come up to there. And this is just for media speak, this is where the national and international press come to for game, TV cameras there, during this year. There we are. Just imagine the pressure Steve is going to have on Friday against Leeds for this. I mean, not easy for him, not easy at all. Whatever you want to do, yeah. Have you got the music in the background? Alright. Just listen. I've got those all to come in, you know. We're coming two by two today for Newcastle. Where's my little Bristol Rovers, mate? Come here. You know what you are. You just smoke. Anybody to get on this side, but I've got loads of Newcastle fans this side, right? I'll tell you when. And let Newcastle captain go first, Bristol. There you go. Oh, yeah. 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 Yeah.